in this video i'll explain to you how to draw with pen if you want more tips you know how to draw with pen also watch this video what to the end to get everything so the first thing i'll be telling you guys is hatching what is hatching hatching is using your pen to create a line in the same direction it can be horizontal as well as in the same direction this is hatching so when you are creating the this is how hatching is supposed to be but when you are creating it in a drawing you make it more tinier and smaller like this hatching is mostly used maybe a lighter part of a drawing or maybe a place you wish to draw with only one direction that's where you can use hatching for your drawing i also use hatching when i'm blending only hatching when i'm blending so watch the end you understand how to draw with pen so the next year is cross hatching cross hatching means making hatching phase and getting a line crossing the lines that is cross hatching this is how cross hatching is normally when it is this is the bigger part of it but when you you are making it in a drawing you make it smaller make the lines come closer to each other let it be like faint lines then you can cross you can cross with the same pressure that you use and do the hatching to make this kind of hatching hatching is mostly for a darker part or it can be used as layers too as far as you are making it light now i wanted to check something on how i hold my pen i'm holding my pen halfway so i can get the light drawing that i need Hold your pen halfway so that you will not make mistakes. Okay, the next is double cross hatching. What is double cross hatching? Those double cross hatching is making hatching, then you cross hatch and adding extra lines, both vertical, horizontal, any direction, just to make it dark. It is mostly used for dark part of the drawing, like the thickest part of the drawing. I use it when I'm drawing the thickest part of a skin. You put do any direction just with the aim of making the the part that part you are drawing dark that's mostly where it is used now you see it in this picture you see how the lines are scattered how everything has been done this double cross searching that's how you do it but when you are making it in a drawing you make it smaller now you make it come together to each other this is for if you are drawing a part of the skin so you have to make it smaller you have to cross hatch it add horizontal lines add vertical lines anyhow add also add straight lines just with the aim of making it dark that is mostly where this double cross hatching is being used shade until you are satisfied with the thickness you want then you can stop so the next i'm telling you guys is stripling what is stripling stripling means using dots to make a join it sounds insane right but people usually use dot to make a join you like creating dots around the join the dark parts the light parts that's how you use and make joints with stripling i made joints with stripling like this eye join i made it with stripling that thousands of dots that was when that was on 2021 it's actually when i was starting i don't know much about drawing that time so i used stripling to draw this eye you can see how everything goes i bring out the details everything is with dot so dot using dot to make a draw, uh, drawing is a good idea especially when you find it difficult to use hatching cross hatching scribbling all those stuff to make a drawing you can use stripling just creating dot but when you are creating it when you are creating it in a drawing you make it tiny and you are making it faint look at how i keep my hand when i'm creating the dot you can also use thought dots in detailing i use it in detailing this like this drawing i made for kizane i use dot to detail the bare side you can use dot to detail drawings to bring that skin textures that's another thing you can do with dots you can also use it to shade i use it to shade many joints 
so if you choose to make to draw with it i'll teach you how you can blend with it so what to the end don't miss it what to the end you understand everything so next i'll be talking about scribbling method what is scribbling scribbling is making tiny circles they are not perfect circles this is wrong like tiny rotating your rotating your pen is not a perfect circle it's this kind of circle rotating the pen many times this is scribbling this is scribbling making perfect circles is wrong is wrong you don't do that what you do is rotating the the pen at the place you want to shade so in a drawing you are making it lighter and you are making it smaller you bring them closer to each other so that it can bring out the realis realistic in the drawing you can pop up the pores and wrinkles in the drawing so you make it lighter if you want a place to be dark keep shading at that same part till it becomes dark that's how you do it scribbling Are you scribbling in drawing hairs and drawing hairs or rough hairs? I also use scribbling in detailing pictures. Now look at the picture. Are you scribbling in detailing the the skin? I also use scribbling at the hair when I want to make it dark. So you just follow everything that you want to draw. Bring out the realism in the drawing. I use scribbling to bring out skin textures also in the drawing when i'm drawing something like a rough surface maybe not a human being or anything that is rough i also use scribbling to bring out the roughness in it as you can see in this drawing i use scribbling to draw not everything but i use it for the detailing for me the scribbling is for detailing although some artists use it to draw to shade everything to bring out realism in the drawing okay let me bring a close shot now see how it looks close shot of it you bring out the details in the drawing and here i also added stripling because some dots in the human skin i added in between i made it using dots so this is for scribbling okay in this same video i will be teaching you how to blend with all these methods most people will just teach you how you can make all this drawing but they won't teach you how you can blend with this method so i'm teaching you how you can blend with both hatching and cross hatching both scribbling and scribbling so keep watching let's go for hatching and cross hatching first you first make the hatching cross hatch it first make the dark part you want to shade especially if you are a beginner you don't know everything about shading so make the dark part first if you're using hatching and cross hatching use hatching and cross hatching and make the dark part first then you cross hatch now this is how to blend when you start with the dark part then when you are ending the line you remove your hand making it to be faint to end faint that's how you do blending there's nothing hard in blending for hatching and cross hatching so when you start with the dark part you remove your hand when you are ending it let's do that you use hatching and cross hatching for that you can also use you can also use only hatching if you want or to me as far as i started with hatching and cross hatching i'll use hatching and cross hatching for that Make sure you get a smooth blending before you leave the drawing. You can use straight line, you can use hatching and cross. Just make sure that if the, the drawing is blended from dark, is blended smoothly to light. We are going from that dark side to this last side. So make sure you get everything right before you can leave the drawing. And don't make mistake in blending, it can ruin the whole drawing. 
don't make mistake in blending follow that process when you start with that you remove your hand then you will enjoy every bit of blending it's easy it's not it's not hard Since blending is critical, that is one thing I do when blending. I can flip the drawing anyhow I want it, just to make sure that I got what I want in blending. You just turn the drawing anyhow you want it, so that you can get the blending to be smooth and to be beautiful. So for, for scribbling, how to blend, you also draw the dark part first. The dark part you want to draw, you make it first. You are going from this dark to light, this direction. Okay, when you are done making the dark side, now use your pen and quit light scribbling. This is how you do it. Make sure it's light so that even if any place that needs to be dark when blending, you also use that light scribbling and darken it by adding more lines on that same spot. So keep your pen anyhow you want as far as you are getting it light. I prefer you keep it not close to the mouth of the pen. So keep it the way I'm keeping my hand so that you can get a very good output. Can make the lines and also know that it is tiny lines you are making at the place that is closer to the dark you add more lines then when you are finishing you reduce your hand you reduce your hand that's how you blend with scribbling for those of you that want to start drawing with only scribbling you want to shade any everything with scribbling want to draw everything with scribbling this is how you do it if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe now and like this video. Give this video a like for more tips that will help you. Especially in pen art, I do tutorial, uh, all tutorials about art. So for stripling, it is totally different here. Although you start with the dark part of the drawing. You first shade the darkest part and you are shading it with stripling too. You are shading the dark part of the drawing with stripling. We are going from this dark part to light this direction okay how you blend you first make the lines at the dark part then when you are blending you space out the uh, dots when you are closer to the dark one you make the line the dots come together but when you are feeding the the uh, the drawing you space out the lines and make and make it light too this is how you blend with stripling okay for more tips tutorials secrets all those stuff you have to subscribe to this channel like this video it's very very important it helps me it helps this video to get to more people that needs to watch this video so subscribe to this channel not to miss any any tutorial from this channel i will help you to make your work hyper realistic i will help you to make your work super awesome okay take a look at some of my drawings i made these drawings with pen i made this is queen elizabeth i made it with pen this channel will teach you everything you need to know as well as his pen and other tutorials for art these are all my words you will learn everything from me like this video so that it can get to more people don't forget to subscribe